Thousands of people around Sonoma County have spent the last two days at emergency shelters in the community as firefighters work to save their homes. What I've seen, I've seen some people very worried about where their loved ones are. Cellular service has not been the best. In fact, it's made it extremely difficult for many people in rural areas to contact and locate their family members. CBS 13's Carlos Torreya, live in Santa Rosa, is getting answers tonight on how the Red Cross is helping families connect with each other. Carlos? Hey, good evening to you. Volunteers with the American Red Cross are using a relatively new program that anyone can access either over the phone, through an app, or by visiting an emergency shelter. Santa Rosa resident Leela Griman left her home Monday morning after emergency management officials evacuated her entire neighborhood after homes there were threatened by fire. We didn't have any way to make our cell phone work. All the cell phone towers aren't working. And so it's taken me two days to contact relatives, and they've just been in such a panic. The Sonoma County Sheriff's Office says more than 100 people have been reported missing since homes were evacuated. Lack of cellular service in some parts has made it impossible for people to reach their loved ones. In the early days of a disaster, of course, people are separated and they're traumatized. So it's very important to be able to find out what exactly happened to your loved ones and friends. Volunteers with the American Red Cross are visiting each shelter, passing out pamphlets and sharing information about a relatively new program called Safe and Well. It's designed to bring loved ones great peace of mind and make communication easier for people who may experience bad to know cellular service. It's critically important, especially with this disaster. There's a lot of our elderly. There's been a lot of skilled facilities that have needed to evacuate and gone to the shelters and loved ones are looking for them. Here's how safe and well works. All a person has to do is sign up on the Red Cross website with their name, phone number and a message. The person on the other end of that message also has to register in order to read that message and connect. It's a valuable tool helping people who may not know how long they'll be away from their homes. It doesn't look likely that we'll be back in the in our home area soon because they say there's no uh, water. There's no power. Now people can also call what people can also call 1-800 Red Cross to register for that program. And again, if you don't have internet or a cell phone, you can always visit one of the emergency shelters where volunteers are standing by to help. Good advice, Carlos Correa in Santa Rosa. Carlos, thanks so much.